you have given us this wonderful day as a gift. And this week as a gift. And this month as a gift. And this our lifetime as a gift. We come to worship you because you deserve it. We ask, O oh God, this morning, let your name be glorified. This place in the name of Jesus. Amen. On earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. But thank you, God, for the miracles, for the good health, for everything that you have done in our life. That's why we bring you the songs of praise and the melodies of worship. Be adored, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask this morning that as we progress with this service, Father, direct also God and receive all the glory. Amen. We cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We ask that you minister to us your word of life. Amen. That no one of us will live here without being blessed. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's sit down for the quality minister.
God once again today, most especially for our Sunday school today, is an introduction to my message today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a question. What's the best gift we can give our children? The best, eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It will lead them for the rest of their life. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's good to give them education. Education without God is going to be a problem. We can will a lot of uh, property for them. In, uh, in America, in London, in everywhere. But without God, it's what? It's zero. That's why I have problem with our politicians. Please take care of those children. Amen. Do you know why I have problem with our politicians? Not in Africa alone, even here. They take away the word of God, the study of the word of God from the schools. Do you know what Satan replaces it with? Cultism. People say there is no vacuum in nature. If you don't have one, you will have something. Immediately they are taking away the gospel. Amen. Immediately, they, I, I hate side talk when, when the word of God is going on. Amen. Please, caution. Immediately they are taking away the word of God. In those schools in those days, when I was growing up, they teach us morals. They, they teach us respect. Not the Bible alone. We respect our teachers. We respect our parents. And that is helping everyone today. Those who stay by those words. But the next thing the politicians just they they, they 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 take the schools from the from the missions and immediately they are taking it. Satan so say, yeah, I get a chance. Every schools now, do you know in primary schools, in elementary school, there are some people that are cut 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 is dead. Because they don't allow the word of God anymore. And Satan ceases that chance. So today I'm going to talk to parents and I'm going to talk to children. Last week we talked about uh, the judgment day. That judgment day is for both children and both, both adults. Amen. Amen. And by the grace of God, we will make heaven. Amen. Father, once again, we just want to say thank you for today. That you are giving us an opportunity, Lord, to say your word, to hear your word. Let the word that will be coming out today do us good today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything that is in our life that is not going to make us rapturable. Because a time is coming when all these things we are looking or rushing, we are worried about, will no more be help to us. Anything that is going to distract or disturb us, Father, take us, take it away from us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's possible we, we write down today some passages of the Bible that is going to help us and uh, some things that I have written down that I will give you that is going to help you and your children as well. Amen. Amen. Uh, we are going to look at the book of uh, St. Matthews. Chapter 24, I want a very fast reader because we have a lot to do and I don't want to take much time. Amen? Amen. Chapter 24, verse 1 to 14. And then went out. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And departed from the temple. Mm. And his di disciple came to him. Yes. For to show him the building of the temple. Yes. And Jesus said unto them, mm -hmm. See ye not mm -hmm. all these things? Yes. Verily I say unto you, yes. There shall not be left here mm. one stone upon another mm. that shall not be thrown down. Mm. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, mm -hmm. the disciple came unto him privately, mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. Tell us, mm -hmm. when shall this thing be? Mm -hmm. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And stop, stop, of... stop, stop, stop there. For the meantime, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, after... If you if you read from the beginning of uh, that chapter twenty four very well, you will see even even going back to chapter twenty three, you will see the discussion Jesus Christ and the children uh, and the disciple were, were were making, particularly about the temple, the temple that uh, God allowed uh, Solomon to to build. They love it so much, and uh, uh, they, were, they were making some discussions about it, although that's not where we're going. Particularly where we're going is verse 3, that's verse 3. The question they asked Jesus Christ, that question is three parts. If you look at it, let's read that verse 3 again. Verse 3. Yes. And as this sat upon the Mount of Olives, mm -hmm. the disciple came unto him privately. Yes, privately. Saying, because he was talking to everybody before, but this is a time that they, 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 they have a private matter to discuss. Yes? Saying. Saying. Tell us. Number one, tell us. When shall this thing be? Because he was telling them that they, they, they will not put one stone that is this thing that you are looking at that is that is uh, making you glad. A time is coming when it's going to be demolished. That temple is going to be demolished. They are not going to be one stone on the other. That is the first question. When is this thing going to happen? Yes, and, that is. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? You see, it's different to each other. The first one is that when will this thing happen? It happens in AD 70. What will be the signs? That's, that's the second one that we want to talk about. The signs of, of what? Of your, coming. of your coming. And of the end of the world. And of the end of the world. That three questions. The first one is already answered. It's AD what? AD 70. Everything was demolished. It was built by gold. You remember? The, the, the Solomon, it was a David that prepared all the things that they want to use. But God doesn't allow him to do the building. In our Sunday school today, we are talking about foundation. That is why I just bring you down. And that is where we are going about our children. We have a lot of work to do over our children. If we do a good work over our children, we will enjoy it at the long run. Amen? Amen. And what is the good work? Is put gospel in them. They say, Catholic people used to say something. They will say, give me your child. When is three? When is seven? Come and take, take, take the child from me. You, you understand? So, the place we think that uh, they are just uh, messing up, they are doing a lot of job there. I mean, the Sunday school, the son, the children. Amen? Amen. Because whatever you put in them, it will be there forever. Yes, yes. If you see a Catholic, even if it's no more going there, this is what, do, do you used to notice there? Yes. And then we had a go. Yes. That is glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. 
That's their training. Amen? Amen. And if you refuse to put the word of God in your children, when is it in the body house? You will not be able to rely upon, upon him or her. In the home, you will not be able to rely upon that, that boy or that guy. Because the word of God is not in them. But when you put the word of God in them to the end of their life, even if they, they derail, something will bring them back. Something will bring, it might be trouble, it might be anything that we just bring them back to that God. Amen? Amen. When I was growing up, I grew up in CMS. And it was a real gospel then. Amen? Amen. Real gospel. What did I call it? Real gospel. They later delay and they come back now. They come back now. Yes, even when we receive the gospel, we, 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 we are jesting about them. Because that time, everything has gone down completely. It was all money, 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 money. That's what they were. But now, the reverse is the case now. Word of God is no more coming out from the church that the whole gospel will gain. What is coming out is about money. Prosperity. That is what is coming out now. When I was, I, I remember when I was growing up, because my parents have to, to uh, happens to be pillar of uh, CMS in our in our village. I must not miss the church both morning and evening. People don't come to evening church. I mean then, then, in the morning you will see everybody, the church will be full to capacity. In the evening, few people will come, but we, I must inquire then, I must come, my father must come because he said, I'm a young. And I in the church. They, they must see us. And it really, 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 really helped me. This time, because in our village, there are a lot of uh, 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 what we call idol, idol worshippers. You know, in those, those, those villages then, I'm talking about early 50s. I remember one man then, Sholam may have heard about the name. Uh, Baba Akiwumi, 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 that the, the, the son is selling a cycle. Yes. Is the is the Akapo of Jordan? Is the treasurer for it? You know it very good. If they go for evangelism, we the small small children will be in the church. They will go, and when they are coming up, Abareo, Jesus, I mean, you see them how they will be clapping. Even God. They they said there was a time they were in front of one shrine. They call Omoyi. You know what I'm talking about? They were singing. They were, they said, Joseph, Jade, Mobolo, Shajebo. Not knowing that they said, Joseph, come out. Don't mingle with her. Uh, not knowing no, no, that uh, somebody is there. That is Joseph. That is, that is, that is Joseph. <laughs> that is there. There is great gospel. Is CMS. But at time, it almost died down, but, but God lifted it up. You understand what I'm talking about? But today, the reverse is in the case for the church, for, 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 for the gospel today, for the one that God calls to. Thank you. Thank you. Call it that. Don't, don't let me miss it. Pentecost, the book that call. It's just nominal, just mouth. Now, that is the Pentecost. That is where you will see some people that are doing rituals so that their church can fool. Today. Then it was not like that. 
It was not like that. You know, I used to talk about my pastor all the time. He took, because he himself came from a CMS. And we were growing. And by the then, when, when, I, when I received the gospel early, in Ibadan then, the only church I knew that had gospel, apostolic faith, and they received it to call. And then we follow within Christian church then. I'm not talking about now. You, you understand what I'm talking about? He taught us to the extent that if a place is stand up from a place, you, you man will not sit down there. You go to another place to sit. Teaching us the core gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. But today, everything has shaped. It's a sad thing. That's why I say I blame the politicians. They, 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 they took teaching the word of God from the schools. And so many, many things replaces it. Even here. Here is where they are saying I'm old enough to, to drop out. Who, who born you? Who born you when I was in, when I was in the school? Want to drop out? Could you believe then? I'm talking about 1952-53. I was in primary school then. We used to do our, our, our class under the tree. That's why we, and everybody will be there. Serious. A lot of them later become ministers, became premier, became different things. Then. There are so many people that their parents are not Christian, but simply because they want to go to school. The, 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 uh, the missionaries, they bring them to school. I was in a, a book launching of uh, Daddy, uh, Daddy Alope. Somebody to hear the day, you will hear that today. Yes, yes. She give testimony. Is you know Sulia is a Muslim. Yes, she said she attended Catholic school. That's why where she know about uh, about the gospel. A lot of people like that. But today, this the, the gospel are the people that we have school and they are the bill or uh, what we call the tuition or what we call the, the, tuition the tuition fees of their school will be the highest. Yes. Mm. And that is how they are killing the gospel. In the life of children, a lot of people are they they, 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 they just go to school. The, the mission missions we pay for their uh, tuition, feeding this and that. Then, but today it's no more like that. We have a job to do. What is what do I say? We have to do a job to do. There is no person that you are going to train in the way of God, it will be difficult for Satan to snatch them away. It will be difficult. Because it's going to be in them. Today, most of our young, young ones, they don't even know when they are saved. People are talking about saved. They say, hey, that, that's, it it comes to a time that they say, where, where do you go? I go to burn the green church. <laughs> What's the meaning of that? Because they don't understand. If you are born again, everybody will know that that this person is born again today. There is no person that will have a baby that it will be until you say, do you have a baby? I don't even know whether I have a baby. You will know when you have a baby. Is that not true? Yes. You will know when you have a baby. We may not know the date of our birth, but we know we are born. Is that not true? Yes. If you ask some people that call themselves Christian today, when were you born again? I can't, I just don't know. 
I was just following my, my, my mother to the church. I was just following my father to the church. And if this still happens to pastor children most, unless care is taken, amen? Yeah. Unless what? Yes. They don't be following their father, they before, because everything they are doing in the church, they are not there. Thank God, the phone just come now, they will have something to be doing on phone. Or some that we will not even listen. Who is talking? It's my father. It's my sister. It's my days. They will not take everything serious. So that is why they will not know when they were born again. If we have our children that are born again, we will have no fear to send them to boarding school. Because we know when they get there, they will become what? Lights. They will become light that other people will be emulating. We will have no fear what is whatsoever. Most schools then are boarding houses, are boarding, boarding schools. And what they do? They have the time of uh, devotion. They have a lot of things like that. A lot of a lot of them will go to evangelism, go to this, and still they, they are high up in, the, in their studies. But today, is that the case any longer? No, no. Say, tell us when. Second uh, question. When will these things happen? Is that what, what you say? Yes. Not all these things you said. When is it going to happen? The first one I have told you, it has already happened. Then read it further. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? Yes, read it further now. At the end of the war. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered and said unto them. And Jesus answered and said unto them. Take heed that no man Please take heed so that no person deceive you. Because a lot of deceiver will later come. Uh, uh, do we have deceivers today? Yes. A lot. Some will say they are even Jesus. There's no name they will not call themselves because they are deceivers. Yes? For, for many, for many shall I come in my name. Many shall I come in my name. Saying. Saying. I am Christ. I, look at that. I am what? I am Christ. Uh -huh. How many Christ do we have? Many. Uh -huh. Yes? And ye shall hear of war. Do, uh, do, do we hear of war first? Yes. Do we see war? Yes. Not this Ukraine alone. Those are the signs. So automatically, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is very close. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. And see rumors of war. These people, they are in lecture. They come to him privately. No lecture anymore. Revival, where they, all, where all they, they are concerned about, where they are going to tell him them vision. No lecture anymore. No lecture. The thing most people like most now is prayer and uh, vision telling. You will say you want to have lecture. Very few people will come. Prophecy. Uh, thank you. Prophecy. And uh, all sorts of things like that. That's what they want. Say you want lecture. This one used to be long, you know? I don't want lecture. Yes? See that ye be not troubled. It's is telling them in that lecture. Jesus is telling them in that lecture. See that you know what? Be not trouble. Uh -huh. For all these things must come. Because all these things I'm telling you we happen. But the end is not now. But still, the end is not now. What, what, what how is going to be? Yes, go ahead, go ahead. For, for nation shall rise against nation. Is nation rising against nation now? Yes. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famine. There shall be what? Famine. 
Is there family here? Yes. Eh? Yes, if you don't know here because yes. you are get, go to Africa. Everything I wanted to fill my gas. The, was it last week or so? I used to fill my car with about three, is it thirty, thirty dollars something before? And I have gas there that you know they used to draw line, draw line like this. It's not yet on a, on on a, on an empty, so it's in the first one. Could you believe when I feel it, it was sixty-two dollars. Whereas I have uh, something there before. So when people in Nigeria are complaining to me that uh, the gas is one thing, uh, I say yours is small. <laughs> so whatever you are talking about is the end of the day. I went to the laundromat to wash my clothes. The one that I, I, I used to go to two weeks. The one they wrote 49 cents. Is it 49 cents or something? Four dollars something. something before. It, it, it has changed to 59 something. That's one dollar above. There, there is nothing now that has not changed in price. Immediately, Biden is putting something on top of your pay. The people that are taking it, they are ready to take it. Just to fulfill, to fulfill the prophecy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, go ahead. And I'm first, I'm first to Lancy. And the earthquake in diverse places. Okay. And all these are the beginning of sorrow. All these things I'm talking about, they are the beginning of what? Of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you? They will deliver the you. Look at what is happening. Boko around this and that. Now they are delivering. They are, they are still a lady there that they did not release. Yeah. Yeah. Because of what? Because you cannot deny Jesus Christ. Yes. That is how it is. Because he did not renounce, they said, renounce Jesus Christ. And I'm sure by now he, 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 was, he must have been doing a halawa baru. Okay, we did see her. Amen. Because sign of the coming of the Lord. Can you read a, a little bit? Want to go and for. shall kill you, they, and you shall be. They are killing a lot of people nations. in China, in uh, India, in different places today. For my of because people, some people used to send a uh, uh, magazine to me in the Matthias. That's the title of it, and I paste it over there that we should pray for them. This and that. A lot is happening everywhere right now because. The coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is very close. Is very close. So I I have uh, some informations for you that I know will help you. Most especially about your children. Amen. Yeah. I'm I'm working on a book that I call Catching Them Young. I'm working on it now. I'm not doing all these books because of money. But I'm doing it so that, that the information will be there. Even when I'm no more alive, that information will still be there for you and for other people who care. So I am going to take some of the things that I wrote there so that you can put it down. You can uh, practicalize them on your children for you. To have rest of mind over your shield. Amen? Amen. Because this is their foundation. And what we learned today in the Sunday school is what? Foundation. foundation. Anybody that does not go to, look at the old testimony that the uh, Christian used to give. That boy, when he was uh, young. young. And it's helping him today. 
It's not me. Anybody that has good foundation, it will continue to grow, go like that. But today, most parents, what concerns them most is uh, the normal certificate. Oh, GSP, LLM. That's, that's the only thing that concerns them. But if they don't have God in them, all those LLB, 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 what, whatever it is, is nonsense. It's useless. But when we put God first in the belly of our children, they will never, never depart from it. When we get home, I want us to read that, the whole book, the whole of uh, chapter 24. It's a lecture that Jesus Christ did for his disciple. Amen. 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 Then write uh, Romans chapter 1, 21 to the old, which is 32 to 32 verses. Write it down. So when you get home, because I want to uh, pass on some things to you that is going to help you. For your children, I want, I want you to write this down. What I want you to be doing for them, number one, I want you to pray for them all the time. What did I say? Pray for your children. Pray for your kids. And I mean, really pray. It is easy to remember to pray for the, uh, for the basic. Basic is their protection, safety, health. And these are, of course, great things to pray for. But I say to take, a deep, take it deeper. The enemy is prowling. And the mind of the children can be easily be a plea if we allow it. God put these babies in our care and not just physically alone. Let it be intentional. Uh, 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 let it be intentional about covering our children to serious prayer, putting them in serious prayer. What do you pray for? One, pray for their spiritual gift to be manifested. Number one, spiritual gift. All the ministers of God that you are seeing today, they are born by somebody. Some, some, somebody born uh, Billy Graham and other ministers that, that really shake the, 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 the whole world. Pray for them. Don't pray for, for them to be lawyers alone, uh, doctors, uh, or whatnot. Pray for them for spiritual manifestation. Then number two, Pray that they will resist the devil. Then pray that they will walk by faith and not by sight. These are all important. If you forget to write it down, by the grace of God, it's online. You will be able to get it at later. That's why I will go quick. Pray for the spiritual discernment. Discernment and pray for their future spouse. Don't say my, 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 my child is too small now, but the time is coming when he's going to get a spouse. A lot of children that do not take care of their mother or their father, it might be because of the, of the type of, of, of spouse they have. You understand? Then speak over them. Much like prayer. Where we ask for the grace of, uh, of God to cover them, we should decree and declare God promises over their lives. 
You know, God has promises over their life. Amen? Amen. I, I just took this chapter out from that book that I'm reading to you right now. Amen? Amen. There was a, before I go for that, there was a, a discussion I was listening to on radio this week. I was about to be crying. Somebody was uh, asking that uh, every, everybody should call. call. You know, some people call on phone, on, you know, on radio. Mm -hmm. That the best thing that have ever happened to them within the week. And this lady now called. And they said, yes, I mean, I have you. She said, the best thing that happened to me this week was that my best friend, he said, with you, my best friend of 18 years now, now become my fiancé. Lady become fiancé of a, a lady. See, my best friend of 18 years, we have been friends for 18 years. Now he become my fiancé. That is, that is what Satan is bringing in today. Because the politician, they already withdrew the teaching of the word of God in school. And that is what is going on. So if you, you parent, if you don't put the word of God in them, their fiancé may later be uh, their, their best friend may later be their fiancé. Is it not sad? Very, 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 very sad. Hmm. Then another thing that I put there, monitor what they wash. You understand what I'm saying? What they wash on TV. What they wash going on, 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 on all about. They are friends. Wash. Who is this man? Who is this lady that is coming to me? To see my, my 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 daughter or my my, my son every time. What's, what's 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 her background? What's her parents? Some people they will say, ah, I cannot say you should not have friend now. I don't care. If you don't care, that friend may eventually take your your, your child away from you. Amen. 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 I told you last week that there are some things I said it might not be okay with you, but I'm telling you the truth that is going to help you. Amen? Amen. 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 So, monitor what they wash and listen to. When your, your, your baby or your, your child is doing like this on, on telephone, People and see what they are what, what they are doing. What they are doing. Very, very important. Amen. Amen. Let, let's be diligent about protecting our children's eyes and ear. Because it's a gate. What did I call it? A gate. A gate where anything can enter. You see how we did our gate now? Because the time we don't do it like that, so many things coming. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep as much evil from their sight. Because you are an overseer over them. If you fail to do your work, God is going to answer from there. Ask you questions. Because you are caretaker. Some of us have houses back where we come from now. If you have caretaker, if anything is happening, is that, is that caretaker you are going to ask from? Amen? Amen. We are not the owner of the children, but care caretaker. 
I told you last week that there are some people they will never say no to their children. No. Anything they want. This is free war. Is it not free war? Free war. Anything they want to do, they can do it. They are free to do it. You must try to know how to say no. No, you are not going there. When I was in New Jersey, there are some people, every time, they want to go and do sleepover. They sleep over in a James house today. Tomorrow is a Deborah house. Without the parent finding out who is this uh, Daddy James or Mommy James that you are doing sleeping over from a uh, wife. And that is how they, they get a lot of uh, things that you don't even expect from them. Amen. Amen. If I don't tell you this, I'm telling you privately, although it's, it's worldwide, but I'm okay with it. Jesus called his disciples and his followers. And he begin to talk to them private me. I'm talking to you. A time is coming when you will remember this thing that I'm talking to you about. Amen. Amen. And it will help you. It will what? It's going to help you. If you agree. Even sometimes that seems harmless can spark an innocent curiosity that the enemy can use later in their life. Amen. 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 And I say, I, I get nine things that is very, very important. Number one, teach them how to pray, but not just to pray. Do you know there's how to pray? Amen. Uh, how to pray is not is different from just to pray. Teach them how to pray. Thank God first. Look at yourself whether there is a sin in your life, blah blah blah, and so like that. Teach them how to pray, not just to pray. Number two, teach them how to be a thinker so that. They aren't easily influenced. Influenced. They can children can be influenced. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. They can be influenced. So teach them how to be a thinker. Some people they don't just think. Whatever they see, they just be doing it. And eventually it may take them to where you don't want as parents. Amen. Amen. Teach them how to be a thinker. Number three, teach them how to love as divine by description. Look at the love that the lady was talking about on radio. Teach them how to do what? Love. To love. The, uh, the, the, my friend of 18 years now become my fiance. That is the world we are in right now. I'm saying all these things because the coming of our Lord is so close. And I pray we will not be guilty over the children God has given us in Jesus' name. Amen. Number four, teach them to study the Bible and not just to brush over the words. How to study the Bible. You know, there is a difference from studying the Bible and brushing over. If you brush over, you will forget quickly. Amen? Amen? How to study. When you are studying, you jot so many things down. Amen? Amen. Teach them from the beginning. Another thing I put there is teach them what it means to worship. So they can connect with God. Teach them how to worship. So that they can do what? Connect with God. Why worshiping will connect with God? 
If your worship doesn't connect you with God, it's nonsense. Look at most people now that are, are doing that are, are gospel singers. They started from the church. They started from the church. It is what you want your children to be, that's where they will be. And our teacher this afternoon, the Sunday school teacher says continuity. When you lay a foundation, there are some foundations back where we come from that has been there for about uh, 20 years. Nothing laid upon it. Can anybody go there and say, I want to be living there? It's just a foundation. The, the thing that will be happening that is that the weed will cover it. You will not even know that there is foundation there. Because nothing is laid upon it. If you lay foundation on your children, there is no, no age of my children that I cannot talk to. They talk to me and I talk to them. When they reach a certain age, they become your friend. That we advise you, you have to advise them. They are my best friend. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. A, a time will come when they will become your best friend that you talk to them because of what you have planted in them when they were young. They are not the one that will be putting you to trouble. Going to police station today, going to bail tomorrow. No, because you already planted good plants. Amen. Amen. I used to be very happy. I'm sorry sometimes I, I used to be personal. I used to be very happy when I saw uh, the, this lady, uh, Esther, and I, because I know their mother. I know, I know the mother just briefly. And I can see something in their life that this is who they were taught from their, 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 their life. They are now with their mother now. Then their mother will be very, very confident that no, I train them and there will be people I train to. There are some people you cannot release your children to. If you release your children to them, you will cry. Amen. Amen. People will be watching you, they don't know that I'm watching them. I can I, I can see the respect, the call. The culture is different. They will not kneel down because that's not their culture. There are some people that are kneeling down that what is in their heart is grief. It's worse than kneeling down. Do you understand what I'm talking about? When you see people that are really, they have real good foundation, you will see, you will see it in their lives. And particularly if they get good people that are putting some block some cement, some water, eh? and what? And that's some rod, iron rod. You will see it in their life. I'm not definitely, definitely. I, I, I have a good place to put my shite. There's a place you will put your shite that every time is quarreling, every time is crying. We parents. We, we are not always happy when our children are not doing good now. Huh? When I begin to see the, what uh, these WhatsApp people used to send, sometimes I would be crying. The people that will kill people, 17 year old, 14 year old, they are looking for money. They don't have good background. If they have good parents, the, that good parent will be, will be crying. They will not be happy. For our children to make us happy, my brother, my sister, we need to do work. Good. Do the work when they were. Husband and wife may not be the same thing. Husband may be weak. The wife may, may be strong. Use everything that you can use. Use whatever you can use to make sure that you give them good foundation. 
Don't emphasize on read your book, read your book, read your book alone. You understand? Yes. There are some things I deprive my children not to do. That is not sin. If they see me, if they are playing ball, if they see me, they, 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 this one will go this way, this one will go. I say, you are playing ball, don't go and read your book. That's not the way to do it. You understand? If it's now, I, I won't do that. I will not do that. Read your, every time, read your book. But I thank God they read their book and I'm happy about it. Put God in them as well. Amen? Amen. Check who they are moving with. These are very, very important. Amen. Amen. Let me finish because our time is gone. Amen. 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 Anytime I have the opportunity, I will be telling you whatever God puts in my mind or in my heart. And it's, you are going to be beneficial if you take to it. A time is coming, whether I'm still alive or not, you will continue to remember that this man said this at that time, that time. Don't just come here and I take your dollar, then you go away. It's not how going to help you. Amen? What concerns most people is just they, if they don't care, like I like, 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 like was in the church back in ages, they are they knowingly know people that are doing drugs in the church. They know them. Don't, don't let me say something. They are the, they went there, they want to buy church. They are the people that put 50,000 down, 100,000 down. Yeah, they don't spend in one naira, yeah. Amen. Amen. Nobody talk to them until they begin to apprehend them. The FIB, what do you call it? Yeah. <laughs> they begin to take them one by one. Even it, it was saddened to me. They took a, a pastor's son and he was jailed. Because the foundation, don't take their money alone. Give them the work. They may not like it. I don't. I don't care if you don't like me. Amen. Thank God, things shall shift here. I can't say because you want to give, buy juice to come and give me, and I will not tell you the truth. No, keep your juice to yourself. Amen. Amen. Give your money to yourself. The gain I want to have over you is that on that day at the judgment seat of God, I was all oh, this rich sister, I have to start mission. Ah, you made it. Ah, oh, this sister Deborah. Ah, you made it. Oh, this is sister Joy. Ah, you made oh, Praise the Lord. That's the joy I want to have. Whatever you give me today, before, before you know it, I already spent it. Every gift you give me on my birthday, the other time. It's no more. I don't even know where it is now. It's gone. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But when you are doing good, your children are doing good. That's my job. That is my job. If we are 3,000 members and none of us is doing good, it's a bad luck for me. Amen. Amen. If we are just like this, a lot of us we are doing good. I'm not talking talking about making money. I know you are making money, yes. But doing good in the Lord. This one that I just growing up in few shop, they are the church. Amen. Amen. In future they are what? Well. I look at uh, the boss picture when I was calling, I saw it. And it was about uh, <laughs> When 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 less than a month, was at this devil. Look at him now. If we call him a boy, now he will say I'm not a boy. So there are the people that will become the church tomorrow. But whatever you give them today is going to help them. Amen. Amen. Have I finished the nine something? No, number six. Okay, number six. Okay, number seven. Teach them how to fast. Amen. Amen. You, you know, 
Sometimes even the, the one they are feeding, they fast. If they used to suck uh, breast three times, you will tell no. If it's fast, it's even good for you yourself. Medicine, medicine that way. Is that not true? Teach them how to fast. So that if anything comes, they will be able to stand the test of time. Teach them how to fast and why it is why is it important. Don't just say fast, 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 fast. They will go into the corner and they will write it. Tell them the importance of it. Whatever they are doing, tell them the, the importance. importance. It's not fast that, that, that let prayer answer, but it will kill your body. It will allow you to dig deep. Amen. Amen. Number eight, right? Yes, sir. Teach them to seek God diligently. In both good and hard time. Teach them how to seek God diligently. In good time and the hard time. Two times is compulsory for man to have. There is no way you will be enjoying that the other side will not even come. But when you teach them how to endure, they will not be disappointed. Amen. 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 Number nine, which is the last. Teach them how to serve others with a generous heart. Amen. Amen. Teach them how to serve others. How to care for others. Without looking at anything and at the gain they will have. Very, very important. Amen. Amen. If God give us the chance, in future, we will go ahead. Because I know some of you are going to war, some of you are in a hurry. But still, what needs to be done has to be done. Amen. Amen. Politician took the gospel out of the schools. And Satan was not just looking. He replaces it with so many things. So that's why you need to take care. Don't, don't, don't just dump your children to the teachers alone. No matter their age, call them, tutor them. And you will enjoy it in future. Praise the Lord. So that verse says, the question, that's verse, verse 3 says, one, when will these things happen? It has happened. We are talking about uh, the day of judgment. It has happened. The second one says, what is going to be the sign? And we are seeing the sign every day today. In a, uh, one country uh, where they do uh, the manufacture of this uh, television, this and that, what do you call it? Hong Kong. In Hong Kong. Corona. A lot of people have had Corona there now. I don't know whether you listen to the radio or tell the television. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are having Corona there now. So different things are happening all over the world. So we must not sleep. When we sleep, Satan don't sleep. Oh. He didn't sleep. Immediately they begin to withdraw in schools here. You can anybody can pray to whoever they want. That is what is going on. The same thing is happening in Nigeria, in Cameroon, in everywhere right now. So we parents, we have a work to do. And you're going to bow your down your head. Lord, help me. Help me. Don't let me be guilty over my children. Help me, Lord. I am trimming my light so that I can put light on it and uh, I will be able to meet with you 
at your coming, just like our topic of last week. Lord, put light in me. And I want you to pray right now. Don't let this word just go into the drain in me. Don't let it go in drain. Pray to God. Give me strength. And give me wisdom. And give my children ears to hear. And hearts to receive. Don't let me cry over them. It is not only when they die alone that you can cry over them. When they are in a Look at those, those small, small people that kill people. Now they will kill them. And they are very we can cry. Don't let me cry over my children. Keep me rejoicing over them. I want you to pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. It's not every time we will continue to have uh, messages that will just be laughing. A time we will be laughing. A time we will think and think now and pray. Don't let me be guilty over my children. And may God bless you. message. We thank you for what you have done today. Thank you for speaking to us as a child. We thank you Lord. We worship you for your servant that you have used. Father, give us the power to retain this message in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The power to be the hearer and the doer of this word. Give it to us in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. The power to stay in you till the end. The power to be in you till the end. Give it to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We pray for the servant of God that you have used today. Let your hand of power be upon him in the name of Jesus. Replenish your power in this life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.